let me pray for you multiplied visions and spiritual experiences old route you can go i'm an old woman don't worry at least my sons are dead i can't leave you please just go live your life leave this old woman and ruth said no way no way mama i'm not going anywhere that means even if my future is ruined let it be at the instance of our relationship your god will be my god your people will be my people our time is gone ah. can you spare me five minutes to talk on the law of honor will i end without teaching this As you are agreeing to give me five minutes, it also means you are agreeing that if you don't have a legitimate reason to see me, you will go home after the grace. mystery second only to the law of encounter is the greatest truth I have found the law of honor the mystery behind the sudden rising of people like a charm a man just evaporates and you don't see him again and the only place you find him is above honor what is honor honor is the discerning please listen five minutes and we're done honor is the discerning honor is the celebrating and then if need be honor is the rewarding of a man for their uniqueness and their usefulness the discerning the celebrating and the rewarding of a man please help him for their uniqueness honor is the number one reason for the sudden rise of people please if you can i recommend that you listen to my teaching that i did at the king's court rccg the king's court listen to it i spoke on the book of esther The book of Esther starts in a very interesting way. Please lend me five minutes. We're still at that. The Bible starts by flaunting the glory of a man, a king called Ahasuerus. The Bible says that he was a king over 127 provinces to tell us the extent of his, his might. And then the Bible tells us about a woman called Vashti. Are we together? So, the next scene starts with the dishonor of a woman. The king calls for Vashti to come. To come and, you know, show herself as it was in ancient customs before his friends. And Vashti refused. When she refused, the king, being a very good man, he kept quiet with the issue. But then the advisors of the king said, uh, 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 uh. this woman is in a position where she's a model to every woman. If you permit this dishonor, our wives and our women will start the same thing too. Do something about it. And Vashti is banished. Are we together? That means everything was in place in a palace. The throne is still there. The treasures are still there. But dishonor is about to divide the kingdom into two. Everything still in place. Intelligence is there. The security there. Her man is there. But one woman's dishonor is about to bring conflict and tear down 127 provinces. And then the king dismisses the wife. There is no record 
of Vashti saying sorry. There is no record of Vashti saying an audience with the king. I apologize. No. To hell with your palace. And she leaves. Scene 3. A call is made for all of the young virgins around the territory. And then in a place called Shushan. Are we together now? The little knees of a gatekeeper called Mordecai is fetched and brought before the king. Honor. She honored the man and she came. Honor and favor works peri pasu. There may not be time to talk about favor, but if you, if you, if you practice honor automatically, you will find favor. Favor is the reward for honor. Are we together? So when she came there, the Bible says in Esther chapter 2, please give us verse 15 and then we'll go to verse 17, that there was a grace for favor that was upon her. Now when the turn of Esther came and so on and so forth, she went to Haggai, required from him the last sentence, and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Favor is a grace that works with sight. When the, when the grace for favor is upon you, only a blind man will ignore blessing you. Provided there is a man that has the eye that can see, they are compelled to bless you. Verse 17. And the king loved Esther above all the women. She was not alone, but the king loved Esther. And she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. So other virgins obtain favor too, but her surpassed them. So that he set a royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Are we together? And then when you read on, you will find out that a lot began to happen. And she declared a fast because of the threat of her man, his plot to destroy the people of God. And she went to the king and he lifted the golden censer, the scepter, and invited and said, what should I do? A wise woman, look at honor. Honor is a weapon. In that, in the book of Esther, there is no priest. In the book of Esther, there is no prophet. In the book of Esther, there is no apostle. In the book of Esther, there is no war. There is only a woman. But she defeated everybody with a tool and a weapon called honor. She honored her man to his grave. Honor is a weapon. It not only lifts, it can kill. A wise, a foolish woman would have told the king and said, King, her man wants to destroy us. Will you watch your beautiful bride go? See that? But a wise woman, when he gave her an opportunity, her honor, she discerned his mood and she said, Oh king, I want to give you what the first wife didn't give you. It was her not honoring you that took her out of the place. Grant me the opportunity to present a banquet. And the king said, finally, I find a woman who understands that with all humility, I am king over 127 provinces. Talk about my province first before my request. Don't, before your, don't come before me and request. Talk about the province. Don't ignore the achievement. It's a formula for attracting the attention of great men. Don't come before a great man and say, I'm broke. No. Are you not aware his company is doing well? You start like Esther. The province and the palace and his interest, then your needs come later. So when you go to this king called your father, when you stand, it is hallowed be your name. Then thy kingdom come. Then your will, O king, be done on earth. Then when you are done, then give us this day our daily. It's a formula. The king's interest first before your needs. So Esther prepares a banquet and then notice she also requested, please let her man also come. When you fight a great man's friend too soon, even if it's your enemy, you will pay for it. Friendship is not built in one day. You will not fight it emotionally. 
her man had done many good things for the king for one woman's plea to make him destroy the man no she prepared the banquet the king liked it he said do it again he said with all pleasure my king honor remember somebody is dying no but honor is the one killing the person and then another banquet is prepared and then the bible says she prepared a feast called the feast of wine that was where the whole thing came the feast of wine when the king drank wine and was happy he now said okay what is it and he said oh king i have a plea say it wine you wait until wine comes There is one who is threatening your queen and threatening your people. Who is that? That Haman. Look at a wise king. He didn't comment. He stood up and went to his garden. Went around his lounge and was just thinking. And while he was thinking, you see, but when, when it's time up for your enemy, anything will be problem. The man went to the, key, the queen to kneel down. You know how you kneel down and just say, kill me here. The king now, ah! You are even trying to rape my wife on top. That's the end of it. Couldn't he beg from a distance? He now came and knelt down close to the queen. It, it's just doom. And listen, the moment that happened, watch this. Haman went back to his wife. Before that time, he went back to the wife and complained about what happened. And the wife said, who is this person? He said, Esther. He said, a Jew, you are finished. You are fighting a covenant, not a woman. You are finished. A man, didn't you select who to fight? Not everybody. You want to receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior? Can you repeat these words after me? Say, Lord Jesus, I declare that you are the Son of God. You came into the world and you died. On the third day, you rose again. I believe in the resurrection. Holy Spirit, fill my heart now. I receive eternal life because I have been washed right now with the blood of Jesus. Thank you for saving me. I declare you are my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you right now that you are establishing God you are kept in God. The God who is able to keep you from falling will sustain you the rest of your life. 